Okay, well this is a very important skill to practice. Again, hopefully when you're, we're going through these, hopefully in your notes you have preserved what the original problem was, so you can go back and try that again later. Because um, The key thing is this is stuff that we have to practice. We have to practice this so much, not, not just that, so that we can get this right, but so that we can get this right quickly and confidently, because you won't see a problem where this is the whole problem. This would just be one step in a bigger problem, so we have to be confident about getting through these conversions. Um, so again, you want to try to keep a log of the little problems we do today so you can go back and uh, keep drilling on this. Okay, so here's how we, uh, we work this out. Um, so again, you ask what's your starting units, what's your target units, and what's your conversion ratio. Then we can really treat these like uh, unit conversion type problems, which are very important in chemistry and physics. All right. After a while, you can start to do these in your head. Uh, for example, I gave you this 12. Well, you can see this number is one third of this number. So it should make sense that this number should be one third of this. Um, here's a little bit trickier, but this is two thirds of this. So h should be two thirds of 12. Or simpler, two is twice one, so h should be twice four. Uh, but actually, people tend to make mistakes when they do it that way. So maybe it's just as well just to do the, the, the unit conversion like we've been doing down here, which is just a more formal way of going through that same logic. All right, and now we can get what our final amounts are. So this would be 46 moles and 58 moles. By the way, let me point out another common student mistake. A lot of students would start, so remember our original, so uh, these are the answers that we got. Let me uh, go back to the original problem. So again, here's the problem that you should have in your notes that you can try again later. So we started with this number 12 moles. But it's actually useless to write down 12 moles here. You have to identify the substance that you're focusing on. We know how important it is in science to write down the units. But not everyone realizes that this is not enough units. The real units here are moles of hydrogen. So when you're doing stoichiometry, it's not enough to say grams or moles or liters. You usually have to say moles of hydrogen or grams of nitrogen or liters of carbon dioxide. And oftentimes people get lazy and they leave out the substance. But if you leave out the substance, these problems are impossible because then everything's in moles. How can you do a unit conversion if everything's in the same units, right? So here, otherwise we would be going just from moles to moles. Well, we have no way, idea how to do that. It's much clearer to see how to go from moles of hydrogen to moles of nitrogen. So we have to be in the habit on these problems of writing both the, the regular unit and the substance as well. That comes up in a lot of contexts in physics uh, and in chemistry. OK, well, now let's do another problem. Here's the original problem for your notes to try again later. Let's try working this out on paper. If I give you this initial information, let's try to figure out everything else on the table. So now, the easiest number to get is this number 46. But now the harder part is to get these changes. OK, um, so let's try to figure out, say, this number. What should be our target units for this number? Um, moles of H2. Yeah, moles of H2. 
Now, maybe this is not as obvious that the way you do a unit conversion is you take a starting piece of information and change it into the target. What do you think is going to be our starting number that we're going to use to figure out this unknown number? I think when, I'm sorry, you were saying? Uh, let's see. Well, now the target is what we want. What we want is this. So remember that we want to set up something that looks like we want to set up something that looks like the, the previous setups that we've done. So we need a starting number that we're going to convert into our ending number. Well, um, I think that uh, at first you were trying to use this 46 as your starting number. But the problem is that that's in the wrong row. Our conversion technique works for changing one type of change into another type of change. That is, we want to change this four moles number. Four moles of ammonia. We know that we're using up four moles of ammonia, and we want to know how many moles of hydrogen that's going to involve. We're not going to directly convert this number over here. All our conversion techniques only apply to the change row. They don't apply to the end row over here. So we shouldn't start with the 46. Instead, we should start with the number four. 